Hello everybody, it's the Farm Sim Guy here, hope you're all doing well. We are back on Yukon River Valley for one last time to take a look at the last two factories that we've not had a look at yet. So uh, let's jump straight into it. So we're going to head down to the bottom right corner of the map and what we've got here are the potato factory and the whiskey factory. We're going to jump into the potatoes first and have a little bit of a tour around here. But here it is, uh, the potato factory. Pretty simple. Now your outputs here are french fries, baked potatoes, and on the other side washed potatoes. Here's your drop-off point for your potatoes. Here's your other output, sorted potatoes, beg your pardon, not washed potatoes. Um, this is your input, that's sunflowers, obviously for oil, um, because you need that for french fries and baked potatoes. And then in here, uh, we need also cartons. And we need empty pallets. Now, if you've seen my last video, you will see that we went through the process for what you do to get pallets and what you do to get cartons. So uh, I think the first thing we need to do is jump back up to the pallet and the paper mill factories and uh, load up a trailer and bring it down here. So here we are at the pallet factory. There's the truck waiting. And we've got a little forklift here. Uh, we'll take a couple of these pallets down to uh, the potato factory. Um, it shouldn't take too long to get there. It's just a little bit further down the road from where we are at the moment um, But we'll also stop at the paper mill and we'll grab some cartons as well while we're here So let's get these unloaded and uh, we will see you very shortly Here we are. What we need here are cartons. We've got a nice five pallets worth here. We only need one or two. We'll take a couple. So we'll grab those as well. Uh, don't get confused and take cardboard because they do look the same. But uh, yeah, it's definitely cartons you want for the potato factory. There we go, pallets and cartons, and let's head off now down to the potato factory. And here we are already, incredibly short drive, which is nice. So we will get these unloaded and into their drop-off points. Okay, pallets off. Let's see what happens when we drop them in here, I think. Yep. As we did um, at the paper mill, drop them off and they just unload themselves into the point. There we go. And it should somewhere have a readout. Yes, there it is, above us. Showing us how many pallets have been unloaded. Let's grab another pack just to show you again. That was a little bit uh, glitchy because my uh, loading skills are average on a good day. So, okay, there we go. Lift that up. Yeah, we will drop these in. Um, they take a little bit of time to drop in, but I don't think it's uh, anything ridiculous. Uh, it's almost quite realistic, actually. It's almost the time it takes them to get loaded into the shed or whatever they're doing so there we go pallets dropped off let's do the same with the cartons see what happens with those now I'm expecting a similar thing happens here Yep, there we go. Unloaded. And you can see the cartons sitting in the shed there. Interesting the pallets don't show up. Maybe I just haven't got enough of them yet. Let's grab the last set of cartons. And then we're really looking at raw ingredients, which is your potatoes and your sunflowers. 
which uh, we shall pour in. We've got a couple of trucks lined up ready for them, so we'll uh, pour those in. And I think, as with all the other factories, it's all set to auto start, so um, it'll just fire up straight away. So there we go, second pallet. So we'll run this around here. There's the two trucks waiting over there. We will drop this into the unload point. And there we go. And again, just if we jump into the global companies uh, menu, uh, as with all the other ones, you have to own the ground to make the factories work. But there we go. Um, sorted potatoes production. We've got empty pallets. That's all we need for those. Baked potatoes. We have empty pallets and cartons filled. We just need potatoes. And for french fries, we need potatoes, sunflower, carton, and empty pallets. So different things depending on what output you want from them as well. So uh, let's just jump in our trucks. Sunflowers first, I think. We'll unload these. And that's another tick in the box. And then the last thing we do is the potatoes. So sunflowers, we should get an unload point. Here we go. So we'll unload that. As soon as that's done, we will go and get potatoes as well. And you can see it counting up there in the bottom left-hand corner. Um, we'll just let that run, I think. We don't need it all in there. So let's go and get potatoes. Love the old Case IH truck perfect for a map like this. Okay, let's run this over the potato unload point. There we go. Unload the potatoes. Oh, the door got in the way there. So watch that if you're using this. Reverse up properly. Potatoes are in. We're going to let that run. Now here's two of our outputs. Um, and here's our board that tells us where everything is so as you can see we've got amounts in all of these so it's just a case now of uh, seeing how long things take so there you go it's just jumped up with some of the uh, amounts of the outputs we'll um, we'll skip forward a little bit of time though and watch them go up there we go Some good quantities there coming. Okay, we'll stop that there. That's quite a lot of time we've gone through there. It's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon now, and I believe it was around about 9 a.m. But if we walk around here, as with um, all the other factories we've showed you with outputs so far, it doesn't automatically put them outside. So there's your sorted potatoes. And again, if we go around the other side, there's your baked potatoes and your french fries, neither of those appearing as well. So you need to go into your global company's menu, uh, potato factory, open it up, and uh, click on sorted potatoes, spawn two pallets, there we go, we might hit the max button there, you have to click on it first, hit maximum, gives you two pallets or however many it's produced, and finally french fries, click on that, let's just do maximum as well. Just one pallet of those, so it obviously takes a little bit longer to do french fries than it does uh, uh, the other things. So there you go chips or french fries baked potatoes all in foreign languages must be going abroad must be shipping them abroad and finally around here your sorted potatoes so there you go there's your three outputs there's your four inputs and uh, once again another factory done so potatoes is quite a nice one if you're if you're doing farming um, and obviously if you see the prices here um, you've got some pretty nice prices for these, so it's well worth uh, well worth doing these. Uh, much more lucrative than if you just sold your potatoes. Much more lucrative. Um, so there we go. Something to consider, but that is the potato factory. It's quite a good one. And our last factory, and probably the one we're most interested in. Why not? Because of the output is the whiskey factory. So this, um, let's not call it a whiskey factory, let's call it a distillery, let's give it its proper name, shall we? Um, so your inputs for here are, you need barrels. And if you remember, we did barrels from the sawmill, we'll go and get some in a minute. 
wheat or barley. You've got a choice there. It doesn't have to be both wheat or barley. And finally, which makes a lot of sense, some water. So um, we have a few of these here. Uh, but I think first things first, we need to head over to the sawmill and uh, pick up some barrels. So there you go. One of the outputs from the sawmill is barrels. Obviously, we were here the other day getting long wood for our pallets. Now uh, we're back for barrels. Uh, we've put some on the trailer already, so uh, we will jump in the truck now. It's rather nice trail, boss. Um, and we will run these down to the distillery. Um, and again, it's quite a long way. So uh, we'll just uh, get our heads down and get on with it. But we'll see you very soon. Okay, after a very long drive cross-country, we're, we're arriving in the town now. Um, let's just make sure we go the right way. It's a lovely town. This actually, it's the first time we've properly driven through this. So it's worth you having a look at it. But um, yeah, a nicely, nicely put together town. There's a couple of silo points as well here for dropping off things, an animal dealer as well. Uh, but we're heading to the place that we need, which is down at the bottom of the town here. Which is the whiskey distillery, and there it is, straight ahead of us. So we will run down here, we'll drop these barrels off. And uh, then we will load up the wheat and the water, and we'll make some whiskey. Okay, so you um, you saw us attempt to take them off with a with a little forklift truck there. That was a bit of a, a non-starter. Um, these barrels are pretty heavy, uh, which is understandable. So we've uh, upgraded our loader somewhat, uh, just to let you know, so that you guys know um, when you're doing this that uh, a little forklift isn't going to cut it. So. Uh, let's just reverse this back up a little bit so that we can uh, get these other two pallets off. There we go. So, there we go. All our barrels in. I will reverse him just into the corner here because I'm fully expecting that we'll need him for the full barrels if the uh, forklift won't take the empties. And over here we've got uh, a couple of loaded trucks. We'll take the water in first and get that unloaded. Again, pretty straightforward. We've done this before a few times, so uh, we should just be able to roll up to this. And we'll get an unload trigger. There we go. So we'll get the water unloaded. And finally, in our very own branded trailer, we have got a load of wheat. So we will run this over the uh, hopper in the ground and we'll get it unloaded and then that is all the elements in uh, and then we'll skip forward time a little bit these are uh, plates at the front of the building are where the uh, where the whiskey appears um, so we'll get this unloaded there we go with the hopper and there it goes into the ground and uh, that will trigger the whiskey. Well, there you go. There's your first 83 litres of whiskey. That's about the same as a Scotsman drinks in a day. Well, I can't see a readout, but I'm going to speed this up pretty quickly. See what happens. There we go. That's a big old crate of whiskey, and it keeps going. So there you go. Interestingly, um they just came out. We didn't have to spawn those pallets. Uh, they came out as soon as they were ready. Um, so um, that is your final product. And it's we saved the best to last, of course. So just looking at the figures here, um, the prices are roughly just over, you know, between the lowest is uh, $624. The highest uh, is 1,500 uh, pallet sales of all places. Um, but a pallet uh, comprises of 10,000 litres. So um, one of these bad boys, roughly $15,000 a time, which is not bad money at all when you think that the inputs are pretty basic. Um, barrels are a bit of a challenge to get to because they're a long way away. Um, but other than that, 
um, water, water and wheat. They're in, they're in ready supply, aren't they? So there you go. Um, our last two factories: uh, the potato factory and the whiskey distillery. Um, that is it in terms of factories for Yukon River Valley. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little series. It turned into a series without really realising it, but um, once I got started, I thought it was really important to go through all the factories and let you all see them. But um, really interesting, and it, like I just said, another dimension to the game that, you know, over and above the farming, you know, the farming can be used to produce all this stuff. So uh, fantastic. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we will be back very soon with more tutorial videos uh, and hopefully some new maps. So uh, until then... From me, the Farm Sim Guy, thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.